Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how I made a removable bow mount for a John boat while using a transom mount and trolling motor. That being said, let's go ahead and get started. This is the trolling motor bracket I'm going to be using in this project and this is the actual packaging brand name of it. And it's made so it can slide in either the rear or stern handles of a John boat or the front or bow of the John boat. So in this configuration I'm going to be sliding this through the front handle at the bow and then the trolling motor will attach here in this area. But I'm going to be using a motor guide R3 30 pound thrust trolling motor and this is a very similar mounting bracket for that. So taking this and sliding it over here you can see that it's got a little bit of a gap in there so it's fairly tight and you want this area in here the clamping space area to be very sturdy and solid so what I'm going to do is add this half inch piece of HDPE right in here which will increase the bracket space that it connects to and then I'm also going to use this smaller piece of poly cutting board on the back side here because you can see all this open area so what I'll do is I'm just going to close this off and give it a nice look and that's going to increase this thickness for the trolling motor to clamp onto. This is a view of the bracket slid into the bow handle of the John boat and you can see it there and how everything lines up before I do any of the modifications to it. Okay so I sized my spacers that I'm going to put in here and I have them clamped on right now that way I can drill straight through and have all the holes aligned and I need to make a correction this is actually three quarter inch HDPE and this is three eighths inch poly cutting board I wanted to show how I was going to attach the T-nuts to the poly cutting board so this is kind of a little example what I've got here is just a piece and I drill a quarter inch hole in there and then you can see here's the T-nut the interior is threaded and then it's got these little barbs on there so what I will do is take a heat gun and soften this area up not melt it but get it soft then I'll line it up here like this press it in and then pound it in with a hammer and it'll be flush in here like that and then I can just go ahead and run my bolt through it okay so everything's assembled and up on the front here is the three quarter inch spacer and the one quarter by twenty bolts are countersunk in there so they won't interfere with the surface and originally what I wanted to do was use the T-nuts in the back here but you would have been able to see them sticking out and unfortunately I goofed up and I pounded them in on the wrong side so what I did was I drilled my four holes through there heated up the poly cutting board and then hit in the T-nuts with a hammer but as you can see everything locks in tight and it's not that much of a big deal because it's not structural it's just being used as spacers So when I was testing the bow mount for the John boat, what I found out was if you went to a heavier trolling motor or one with larger pound thrust, that there'd be a little bit of deflection in the mount itself. So what I came up with is I had this two inch pipe connector made out of stainless steel that I had left over from other projects. And I just cut it down and formed it so that this section will slide over the front lip of the bow and lock in place 
and then this will screw right into the mount and it will clear the trolling motor bracket itself and so if you decide to go to heavier you can just put a screw through there and insert it into and attach it to the mount and it'll hold up just fine. All right, I drilled out the three quarter inch section of the white HDPE and heated it up like I did on the prior part of this project and then pounded in the stainless steel one quarter by 20 T-nut in there. And that's how I will attach that bracket. Okay, so this is how that little supplemental brace looks when it's installed. Gives a nice fit and it keeps the mount from deflecting. Okay, so this is with the supplemental bracket hooked in and you can see it right through the center there and everything fits so I'm just gonna give this a little tug it's in there nice and tight and the whole front of the bow now will flex a little bit instead of just one section of the mount so that's it if you have any questions please leave them for me in the comments thank you